Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait, whoa, whoa. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Look, look, look. This is the deal, folks. All these people that are paranoid about the world come and scream at me everywhere. All right, I'll answer. All right. Okay, now wait a minute. You s now you, you said you would go if I answered the question, right? You said you would go if I answered the question. You said you would go if I answered the question. You said you would go if I answered the question. All right, here's the answer. I happened to be in Europe then on my way to Russia. I was invited to go to Bilderberg by Vernon Jordan, a friend of mine and a genuine hero of the civil rights movement. And to the best of my knowledge, NAFTA was not discussed by anybody in my presence. I was talking to people who happened to be from Europe who did not give a rip about NAFTA. Number one. N number, number two. Okay. Number two. I tried to get labor and environmental standards in that agreement, but I couldn't because it was all negotiated when I got there. Number three, when I was president, we enforced our trade laws five times as much as the Bush administration did. We gained manufacturing jobs, wait a minute, we gained manufacturing jobs in six of the eight years I was president. They've lost manufacturing jobs in every year. We had 22.9 million new jobs, they've had five million. Family incomes went up $7,500 a year when I was president. They're down a thousand dollars now. We had almost eight million people. So, so I was not, I had, I had a very good time talking to those Europeans about European affairs and what was going to happen to Russia, but I was not somehow polluted by it into sacrificing America's economic interests. America did a lot better when I was president than they have in this decade, and that's the truth. Now, goodbye. Thank you.